Mary Berry's former home in Buckinghamshire has been put on sale for a whopping £3. 5 million. The former Bake Off host spent three decades living at the six-bedroom country property with her husband Paul Hunnings. Recently, the pair decided to downsize to a four-bedroom, reports The Mirror. The stunning home was designed by Mike Taylor and, unsurprisingly, includes a four-avenaga in the open-plan kitchen. After the pair moved, the Grade II listed 19th century house became home to Lucy Patton and her family. Speaking about the home, she said, We lived in Penn for 15 years previously and Watercroft was always a house that appealed to us. Whenever we came over Mary was here, and would always produce a cake or biscuits. Working in Mary Berry's old kitchen has been a huge privilege. It is a really good working space and the walk-in fridge is such a bonus reports the mirror. According to Lucy, Mary appeared at the house every time there was an event happening in the village. She'll come over and have a cup of tea. When we moved in, she hosted a party to introduce us to all of the neighbors. They are all very friendly, she said to the Times. As well as the impressive open-plan kitchen, the countryside residence has a prep kitchen, an office, reception rooms, a dining room with an old gun cupboard and a drawing room. There is also a separate two-bedroom cottage. Meanwhile, Mary moved out of the six-bedroom property to a four-bedroom one in Henley a few years back. The star reportedly forked out £2.6 million for the gorgeous property that features an indoor pool, tennis court and a gym. Join the Daily Record WhatsApp community. Get the latest news sent straight to your messages by joining our WhatsApp community today. You will receive daily updates on breaking news as well as the top headlines across Scotland. No one will be able to see who is signed up and no one can send messages except the Daily Record team. All you have to do is click here if you're on mobile, select Join Community and you're in. If you're on a desktop, simply scan the QR code above with your phone and click Join Community. We also treat our community members to special offers, promotions, and adverts from us and our partners. If you don't like our community, you can check out any time you like. To leave our community click on the name at the top of your screen and choose Exit Group. If you're curious, you can read our privacy notice. It also has a double garage, a dressing room and an ensuite in the master bedroom. It comes as Mary recently opened up about her late son's tragic death. In an interview with the Daily Mail, she opened up on the tragic moment in her life when she had to tell her other son Thomas that his brother had died. She said, I remember when we told Thomas that William had died. He said, but mom, we had so much to do. That's his sadness. It stays with you. William was studying business studies at a university in Bristol at the time of his death was traveling with his sister, Annabelle, at the time of the fatal crash, however, she escaped unhurt. Mary was later informed of the tragic news that her son had passed away. Previously during the Mary Berry story, a BBC documentary about her life, Barry revealed her personal heartache and said, It was a glorious January day and it was sort of one o'clock and he wasn't home. The doorbell rang and there was a policeman there, and immediately then I knew why. And he said, There's been an accident and I'm sorry to say your son is dead. She added, Still, after all these years, his Bristol friends put flowers and notes at Ben Church, the family lived in Penn, Buckinghamshire for over 40 years. It's lovely. I think he had an effect on his friends. I hope it made them drive more carefully. 
Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages.